I love shoot 'em ups, and I have a particular fondness for vertical ones. Blazing lasers, space megaforce, Ikaruga, Dodonpachi, and Truxton are some of my all time favorites, but I love some of the newer retro inspired ones. Missile Dancer, just released on the Nintendo eShop on January 21st, is one of those playing off of some of the very early 90s vertical shoot 'em ups. Now, before we dive in, full disclosure, I did receive a review code for this game, but as always, opinions are 100% my own. Missile Dancer's main premise is that it differs from other shoot 'em ups, whereas your shots are weak and they do not destroy enemies. Instead, you have to hold down the fire button to lock on your enemies in your range. This is the only way to damage enemies and bosses in the game. Now your shot does have a purpose though, as it can shoot down your enemies missiles and that potentially will save you from losing a life. You can get upgrades that both increase the number of missiles as well as your range. Holding down the button also allows you to gather gems dropped by enemies to further increase your score. Chaining enemies are also important to the score, and the longer you can keep it going, the more points you will get. It's pretty simple in concept, but works very well in execution. Difficulty comes in at three levels, Normal, Hard, and Expert. And to be honest, for shoot 'em up pros, you're going to find Normal Mode too easy. I actually beat the game on my first go through. Hard does amp the difficulty up a bit, and Expert is a very good spot for seasoned shoot 'em up pros. In each increase of difficulty, you'll find harder enemies, some different enemy patterns, and the bosses will take more damage to defeat. It's pretty standard shoot 'em up stuff here. Modes are a bit dry. Outside of the main game, there's only time trial or a caravan mode that's three minutes long. It seems based on the normal difficulty. It's alright, but beyond that, the only thing that will keep you forward is increasing your score through the leaderboards, which do not have online. One of the fun perks of the game is co-op play, albeit local only, and it's a lot of fun if you can find someone to play with you. Game supports separate Joy-Con control, and actually works quite nice with the thumbsticks. It does make me wish there was some sort of online play though, as nowadays it's hard to find another person to play with you, especially with the pandemic going on. Also to note, the game does have some screen options, including Tate mode, and if you got the means, it looks very, very nice. It's priced at $9.99 US in the eShop, which is a bit higher than I expect for such a smaller shoot 'em up game like this. That said, Mr. Dancer is fun and maybe worth checking out if you need another shoot 'em up for your Switch, especially if you want to grab a friend for co op. I just wish it had a little bit more content to it or priced a bit more appropriately. I'd love to see an update that includes online leaderboards, and maybe a mode like Boss Rush. Or maybe a longer version of the Caravan mode that's included in the game. That said, I had fun with it, and it's a pretty neat concept. For those out there that maybe have gotten the game already, let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. But that's all for today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing. I'm trying to reach a thousand subs where I would do a big giveaway for the channel. Also check out the Discord and my Twitch channel where I stream 4 days a week. Links to all that is in the description box down below. Also I got a question of the day for you guys. What's your favorite shoot 'em up? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day and I will catch you next time.